वेलकम टू दिस कोर्स ऑन स्टार्ट योर जर्नी फ्रॉम एम्बेडेड टू आई ओ टी सो नाउ वी विल गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वॉट इज एम्बेडेड सिस्टम वी हैव सीन दैट फ्रॉम द कैमरा टू द मोबाइल फोन टू द लैपटॉप दैट दीज आर द एम्बेड सिस्टम नाउ वी विल गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट एक्चुअली द एम्बेड सिस्टम एंड यू विल गोइंग टू सी दैट वेन एवर वी आर बाइंग द लैपटॉप वेन एवर वी आर बाइंग द कैमराज वेन एवर वी आर बाइंग द की बोर्ड okay we are not looking the internal structure of these things that what the things are present so what we can say that uh, whenever we are talking about this embedded system application we have got this chip and this chip will be having some functionality okay which will going to work which will going to process all the things which is been used by you for example if you are using the camera so the camera when you are pressing the button this chip will going to send the instruction that okay the button is been pressed now capture the photo so whatever the work we are doing this chips has got that instruction we have to give the instruction to this chip so what we can say that whenever we are talking about the embedded system the complexity is embedded within the devices we are not aware the user as a user we are not aware of what the things are running at the back end we are only seeing the front end of the system let's say if i'm watching this video right now okay so at what platform you are watching this video okay you are using let's say vlc or some other media player but you are not aware that how this video has been recorded okay what are the technology been used to record these videos and what are the things that are been added so what we are saying that uh, um, when we are talking about the tvs mobile phone anything so you can see that we whenever we are talking about the complexity the user are not aware of that complexity but as a engineer we should know all this complexity then only we can develop the product okay so whenever we are talking about the complexity so what we are saying that this complexity is been embedded within the device so user is not aware of what is running at the packet so the now question arises whether we are using the microprocessor system or a microcontroller system to develop the embedded system so this is very important questions that runs into the mind of the students that uh, is the embedded system which we are referring is using uh, the microprocessor or that system is using the microcontroller so we will going to answer all this but before that you have to understand what is the microprocessor system and what is the microcontroller system and at the end of this lecture you will be able to give the answer by yourself so let's talk about first microprocessor so this is the general purpose microprocessor system which you can see on the screen so we have got a cpu that is stand for the central processing unit and you can see that in the cpu we have attached the ram okay we have got the rom we have got the input output port we have got a timers we have got a serial com port so what you can see that we have got this general purpose microprocessor system which we are referring to as a cpu and all the things whether it is a ram rom input output port timers serial com port they are being connected externally so what we can say these all things are being connected externally okay these all are connected externally with this cpu okay now if i talk about the microcontroller okay so in the microcontroller what you can see that this is the microcontroller a complete microcontroller okay and whatever this is our cpu okay we have got a ram which you have seen in the microprocessor we have got the ram here we have got the rom we have the input output we have got timer we have got the serial com port but the difference is that these all are put into a single tray okay these are been all connected with each other in a single chip so what we can say that when we are comparing microprocessor and microcontroller 
so in a microprocessor we have a cpu and all the ram rom and input output timer serial com for they are being connected externally with the cpu whereas in microcontroller all cpu ram rom input output timer serial com port they are being connected in a single chip so let me clear this with the example so let's say if you have a tray in the home you are using a tray when somebody comes into your house so what do you do you provide them some snacks and all so where you will going to keep this thing so you have a tray in this tray whenever you you are using this tray you will going to keep your let's say biscuit your namkeen your tea okay your sweets everything's okay your dry fruits whatever you want you are keeping this thing on the tray so if i want to carry this tray so what i am doing i have embedded this biscuit i have embedded this namkeen i have embedded this tea i have embedded this sweet i have embedded this dry fruits i have kept this all things in a single tray so this is the thing which i am trying to explain with the microcontroller so all this ram cpu rom input output timer serial port they are being contained in a single chip. whereas when we are talking about the microprocessor they all the cpu ram rom input output timer they are been all connected externally with each other so what we can say the processor ram rom input output port and timer they are all embedded together on a one chip and sometime when we are talking about the cpu that we have talk about the laptop we have talk about the mobile phone you will not going to heard that we are using the microcontroller in it what we are using you will going to heard that what is the microprocessor you will going to heard what is the microprocessor of the your laptop you are using the i3 generation microprocessor i7 generation i5 generation microprocessor that means we are not talking about the microcontroller when we are talking about the ac fridge like this you will going to heard that we are not using the microprocessor in it what we are using we are using a microcontroller and why because we can say that whenever we are using a microcontroller we are referring only to one or two task only for example if i say talk about this ac so what is the purpose of ac the purpose of ac is to maintain the room temperature nothing more than this so it has got a function it has got a specific function that it has to maintain the room temperature if i talk about the washing machine what is the purpose of this washing machine the purpose of this washing machine is to clean the clothes nothing more than that maybe it after how much time the machine should stop you can put a timer you can put a alarm that all another thing but what is the purpose you have to clean the clothes okay so whenever we are designing some particular application and for that we are using the microcontroller and when we are designing a system which can do more than two tasks i can say a multitasking if we are designing some devices which can do the multitasking operation at that time we are using the microprocessor therefore the processor microprocessor when we are using a microprocessor these devices are also called as a high end embedded processor okay so that that is also a embedded product they are also considered as a embedded product but they are considered as a high end embedded processor okay they are considered as a high end embedded product okay i hope this is clear to you where you will be using a microcontroller and where you will be using a microprocessor so we can say that very often the term embedded processor and microcontroller are used in inter- changeably so whenever we are talking about the embedded processor okay we are talking about the microcontroller and when we are talking about the high end embedded processor we are talking about the microprocessor so again i am repeating this when we are talking about the embedded processor we are talking about the microcontroller and when we are talking about the high end embedded processor we are talking about the microprocessor so this is the difference between the microprocessor and a microcontroller so when somebody ask you that uh, what you are using in your laptop so you just see 
what are the things you are doing with the laptop you are doing a multitasking operation so you cannot use the microcontroller in it what you will going to do you will be using your microprocessor when somebody asks you what is present in your smart led bulb you will going to say in my smart led bulb my microcontroller is present because we have got a limited operation that has to be performed with the led bulb what is present in your washing machine so you can see that my washing machine is the my embedded system okay my washing machine is considered as my embedded system but that embedded system is using the microcontroller i hope this thing is been clear to where we will be using the microprocessor technology and where we will be using a microcontroller technology so whenever there is a question that whether the microprocessor can be used in a embedded system whether the a microcontroller can be used in the embedded system so the answer is yes both can be used as a embedded system product okay but it depends on what type of application we are designing so what we can say whenever we are referring to the embedded system okay so we can say that it is been controlled by its own internal processor which is known as the microprocessor okay we do not require some another external device to control the system so whenever we are talking about the embedded system we can say that embedded system typically they are been kept in a single chip okay all your ram rom timer serial port communication all they are present in a single tray and they are been designed for one particular operation only they are not been designed for the multitasking operation when we are designing the embedded system for the multitasking operation at that time we are using the word high end embedded processor and for that we are using the microprocessor and when we are using the only simple embedded system word that means we are designing the particular specific function device only